Governor Greg Abbott, meanwhile, says that he's not going to be asking the Trump administration to send the United States military to the state of Texas. His reaction coming after President Trump told governors yesterday that he would send troops to states that don't put a stop to the violence. Jack Fink covered the governor's news conference today. He is live for us over at Dallas City Hall with more on what he had to say. Jack? Well, Doug, Governor Abbott says the U.S. military doesn't need to come to Texas because there are already thousands of Texas DPS troopers and National Guard troops already across the state. And again today, the governor sharply criticized the killing of George Floyd by that Minneapolis police officer. What happened to George Floyd is a horrific act of police brutality. This should never have happened. And we must ensure that it never happens here in Texas. During his news conference with the mayors and police chiefs of both Dallas and Fort Worth, the governor said most of the protesters have been peaceful. But he said acts of violence and vandalism in Dallas and other cities over the weekend are overshadowing Floyd's death, rather than shining a light on the injustice that occurred. Governor Abbott said he told state lawmakers today they should start working together now and not wait for the next session to begin in January to craft legislation. Texans can overcome any challenge. We can put an end to the violence that is gripping our cities. We can remedy the injustices that have plagued African American and other minority communities in Texas. Now, during the news conference this afternoon, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson announced that there will be a specially called Dallas City Council meeting this Friday to discuss all the events that have happened in the past week and how the city can do better. Live at Dallas City Hall, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.